Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video today, we will be speaking together about how to apply for visa for the country of Nigeria. And as always, we will be speaking about everything, starting with the visa policy of uh, Nigeria and how to apply the application uh, process and all the required documents you will need while applying. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any inquiry or question, please write it below in the comment section and I will respond to you back in 24 hours. If we will look at uh, the visa policy map of the country of Nigeria, we will find that only uh, the countries uh, of West Africa can uh, get access to Nigeria with visa free. Those countries are Benin, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Chad, Cote d'Ivoire, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Liberia, uh, Mali, Niger, Senegal, Seychelles, Togo, and Sierra Leone. And for the rest of the world, you must obtain uh, a visa to uh, get access to the country of Nigeria. To apply for visa for in Nigeria you will have first to apply uh, online and after that you will have to print the application form and uh, after paying online you after applying online you will have to pay the visa fees uh, online also through uh, this a portal portal.immigration.government.nigeria and for the tourist visa you will need your passport a valid passport for at least six months complete visa application form that we will learn together how to fill and how to apply two recent passport size photographs a letter of invitation or uh, or uh, a let a booking uh, letter from uh, the hostel or the hotel you are going to stay in and you will have to show evidence of sufficient fund like bank uh, statement and of course the visa payment receipt for the price of the visa it varies from a country to another for example if you are this is the full list of the countries and the visa fees this is for single entry this is for multiple uh, if we will go for example for egypt a b c d egypt okay it's 45 uh, 45 for both single and multiple us dollars if you are going for india for india is it is 200 uh 253 for uh single entry and also for multiple uh, entry for iran it is three dollars for iraq it is three dollars for pakistan for pakistan for pakistan it is 68 usd dollars so the visa price varies from a country uh, to another and i will leave you a link with this list so you can know uh, the price you will have to pay for your visa so to start your visa application this is the official uh, site you can this is the main site I will, I will leave you the link you'll have to click apply for entry visa this page will appear in front of you and then you'll have to select the country let's say you are applying from Pakistan you can choose any country there is no problem at all then start application okay okay all right so you will have to first to uh, sign in so you'll have to uh, like connect your account if it's Google account or Yahoo account let's say I will connect my Google account so i'll click yes connect and by connecting my account okay now i can start filling my details first name last name contact address country as we said i'll choose pakistan mobile number and then i'll click submit and oh phone number already exists okay submit okay 
your strong advice to review our updated data protection policy okay i can say acknowledge okay and this uh, is the process here is the application the payment and the print receipt for the application i have step one step two step three till step seven that i will have to fail with you step by step okay so now we will start filling the application form together mr first name middle name last name you don't have to give a middle name but if you have you can just give it the email place of birth date of birth upload a photograph i'm here opening a photograph desktop okay this is the size i need to choose a smaller size uh, Oh, it's very crazy. Let me check a smaller size. It's very clear, crazy. You need a specific size over here. I'm trying to make it. Okay, GPG. okay i get this picture i don't have to crew it i will keep it like that you just have to stick to the size and then click next okay now let's come to step two mr okay I already gave those informations okay okay present nationality let's say Indian there is no previous nationality black color of eyes brown identification marks any mark on your face or something uh, 120 yes anything okay address one address two country india state delhi postal code you don't have to give a postal code profession okay official address okay it is the same address and have you ever served in the military please state uh, you don't have to give this information if you didn't serve in military before then click next what feels yes marital status single i have filled everything okay step three issuing country i am getting this visa from uh passport information is from india uh okay date of issue i had my passport that date and it will expire in that date upload passport page 
they don't accept PDF it, it need to be picture so I uploaded this one and type of visa required I want a tourist visa embassy in New Delhi purpose of visit give a, a good reason for visiting I want a multiple money in hand I'll be having this amount of money number of entries uh okay four intended duration stay in there okay 40 days okay proposed date of of travel it will be at 28 okay okay i don't have to give those intended address in nigeria this is the name of the hotel you are going to stay in city country nigeria state up here L G A upper north you don't have to give more information next step four have you ever applied for a Nigerian visa no when was the visa guaranteed or rejected okay don't have you I, I said I didn't have you ever visited Nigeria no okay you just respond to these questions if if uh, yeah according to uh, yeah, just gives the right answer okay i don't have to answer any of these questions period three the buried you stayed in nigeria step five travel history let's say 22 have you ever been infected by any contagious disease i'll say no uh, have you ever been arrested no have you ever been involved in narcotic activity no have you ever been deported no have you thought to obtain visa by misrepresentation or fraud no give a list of countries you have lived for more than one year those you just give uh, uh, the name of the countries and then you can click here I understand that I will require to comply with immigration line and other laws governing the immigration. Okay, submit the application. Okay, it's loading. Step six. In this step, I will have to review all my information. Okay, it is still loading. okay i will have to print and continue because after printing i will write the date and write and, and sign also print i want to print it portal immigration okay brent as bdf maybe it's not appearing in front of you but i will show you now One second, I'm opening it. Um, not download desktop. I'm just getting uh, the print out from my desktop. okay now I have it okay so this is the print this is a copy of the PDF of your visa you have to sign it and write this is where you put your signature this is the date okay you have to print it as a PDF and now going back to our site after finishing I will click continue okay thank you I will say Brent acknowledgement slip
okay here's are telling you for in okay processing information application information processing information payment information this application is gratis required no payment there is also also this page the visa acknowledgement slip you will also have to uh to print this slip with you because you'll have to take it with you and uh that you have to make your online uh, payment please print the acknowledgement slip for presentation to the nigerian immigration services and after successful payments the application has to obtain the has the option to print a, sl a receipt slip in addition to this acknowledgement so after printing your application and the slip you will need to take them with all the entire documents to the embassy of nigeria if you are applying from egypt this is the address over here and this is the phone number and if you are applying from india this is the address over here and this is the phone number and you can find the location of the nigerian embassy in your country easily just by googling it speaking about the documents you will need to apply for the visa the first document is your passport speaking about the passport the passport must be original the issue date must be not older than 10 years with at least six months of remaining validity and with at least two blank visa pages for the stamps number two you will need a photocopy of your passport the passport photocopy is recommended to be colored must show both data page and the photo page if they are separated number three you will need personal pictures for the personal picture you will need two pictures not older than six months clear shows full face with white background and shows neutral expressions no head or face covering accepted except for religious reasons number four you will need visa application forms for the visa application form it could be an online form filled online printed then signed it could be also a pdf form filled on computer printed then signed and also it could be a hand filled form printed then filled then signed its type depends on the country of the visa and will be explained individually in each video number five you will need a proof of status for the proof of status it varies if you are an employee or work in a company you will need a letter from an employer or hr office or your sponsor stating designation the date of employment the salary the period of stay purpose of visit and financial arrangements shall also be mentioned the letter must have an original signature and a stamp but if you are an owner of your own company or a partner in a company you will need a copy of the company commercial registry and tax card should also be presented and if you are a student in a school or college enrollment letter should be provided number six for foreigners you will need a legal residence permit if you are not applying for a visa in the country of your own citizenship you must provide the original and photocopy of your valid certificates of residence employment or student status or other valid certificates of legal stay provided by the relevant authorities of the country where the visa center is located number seven you will need a proof of funds you will also need a proof of sufficient financial means to cover the period of your intended stay a bank statement for the last six months showing regular income the original bank statement must show the applicant's name and be stamped and signed by the bank's representative please note that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds in case you don't have a bank account a proof of any assets can also be presented number eight you will need a flight reservation the flight reservation is also an important document a primary booking of flight ticket reservation must be presented including the return trip and in some cases for some countries this flight ticket must be confirmed 
Number nine, you will need a proof of accommodation. You will also need to provide a proof of accommodation for the whole duration of the intended stay. It should be a confirmed hotel reservation. The confirmation needs to be issued directly by the hotel guest house and clearly state the visa applicant's full name, dates of accommodation, the hotel address, and the contact details. In case you don't have a hotel reservation, you will need an invitation by the Office of Citizenship and Migration Affairs or invitation from a host. The host can be company, friends, family, and it should indicate the address of accommodation. And those are some sites you can use to book your accommodation place. Number 10, you will need a health insurance certificate. In many cases, you will need a travel insurance certificate, especially for Schengen countries. It should be covering the whole period of stay, including the information on terms and conditions. The insurance should cover all medical expenses, including emergency hospital treatment and repartition of the period of your stay in the Schengen area, covering at least 30,000 Euros. The travel insurance certificate shall be signed and stamped by the insurance company representatives or be able to confirm it online. Those are some sites of companies you can use for your travel insurance.